Hello, and thank you for joining me for a lovely yoga session today where we will be focusing on creating space. Space doesn't have to be just expansive space. We can also come into ourselves and create internal space. So it's not gonna be all about moving as much as you need to into every position that you possibly can, but taking the time to move, creating those pauses and feeling into your body and noticing what it is that you need and the space that is required for your body today. You don't need any props unless you would like to have a cushion to sit onto or blankets to keep you warm at the end. And we'll start in a seated position together and I'll see you there in just a moment. So finding that lovely, comfortable seated position where we can drop into the earth and land our body. Focusing on how comfortable your body might feel secure, grounded, with the accessibility of space for us to breathe. I'm going to guide you through triangular breath. All it is, is inhaling up one edge of the triangle to the top, exhaling down the other, and then pausing at the bottom to complete the triangle. We're going to go for three, three and three, and then I'll give you free reign to do what suits your body best. You can close down your eyes or you can keep them open, whatever works best for you. So let's allow the body just to breathe naturally for a few rounds. Taking into the awareness of what it might feel like to be with your breath right now. I'm going to count in for three and then I'll let you go off on your own in a few rounds to play with the numbers of what suits you better. So we'll inhale for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Pause for three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Pause for three, two, one. One. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Pause for three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Pause for three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Pause for three, two, one. One, inhale for three, two, one, exhale for three, two, one, pause for three, two, one, continue on your own. You can play with the numbers, allowing the breath to stay relatively comfortable. It's not a competition of how much you can breathe in, how long you can breathe out and how much you can hold the breath. So think about it as a pause rather than a hold. As soon as you feel that air hunger, we breathe in again. Couple more breath cycles. Trying to breathe in and out through the nose. And then when you've come to the end of your next exhalation, let the breath go, come back to natural breathing, and then just take a moment to move. Where does your body feel it needs just to release some of that tension? Can you move into the space a little bit, freeing up parts of the body that need a little bit of freedom? It can look however you want it to look. We've got so many joints in the body, 
and we tend to sit in one position all day or stand and we want to allow as much mobilization of our joints and our body to create that space within that doesn't always mean pulling apart so it might mean coming in and reorganizing in and then extending outwards so have a little bit of a play you don't have to keep the legs bent just moving around and creating a bit of freedom of your mind as well so you can actually move your body in the way that suits you Good. then we're going to place the right hand down to the earth and reach the left arm up and over the head and we can then alternate movements from side to side. We can stay in one position and pause and play there, thinking about how the space needs to be created within your body. So do you want less space or more space? And if so, where do you want that space in your body? What might that feel like to generate more space or less space for your body today? Okay, coming back to the center, we're going to twist to the right. It can be soft, it doesn't have to be intense. We can stay there and play on this one side. We can move to the other side and go from right to left and continue the movement. I love feeling the kind of air between, the space between the poses. It's not about how necessarily deep you can twist, but it often can be about what it feels like to travel in and out of the twist. Keep the breath going, the movement flowing. One more breath, whether you're moving in and out or you're playing in one pose, make sure you have done both sides, even if you've spent longer on one than the other. And then we'll make our way back to the center and just take a moment to pause. The space in between. We're in such a rush to move to the next thing quite often. We're just taking that like whoosh, moment to ground and be where we are. And we're gonna come onto the hands and the knees. If you want to keep a pillow for underneath the knees, you're more than welcome to do so. And we'll move through our cat cows, adding in our triangular breath. So we'll inhale into cow. Exhale, rounding into cat. Pausing back at the center. And again, inhale into cow. Exhale into cat. Pausing back at the center. Continue this movement again with your breath because we'll all have different lengths of inhales, exhales and pauses. Let the body move as you breathe and pause as you gently pause the breath. Good. Coming back to the centre, return back to normal breathing and you can move around the body in tabletop. Again, it's allowing a little bit of fluidity into the joints. Noticing where, again, you might feel a little bit more rigidity or fluidity in your body. And you can play with that. Now we're going to take a sun salutation sequence. And we're going to add our pauses in. So we'll move our pillow <laughs> off to the side. We're going to come up. To a standing position. So we're going to go through a round of sun salutations, inhaling, exhaling and pausing as we hold the body in the pose. It will still be quite fluid because our pauses aren't that long and then we're going to do a round without the pauses and then a round with more pauses so we'll have a little play with it. So let's inhale, lift the arms up to the sky, bring the palms together and exhale the hands to the heart centre. Pause. Inhale, lift the arms up and take a back bend. Exhale, folding over the legs. Pause. Inhale, the right leg lunges back. You can drop the knee down and sweep the arms up. And as we exhale, we'll come down all the way onto the belly, pausing at the bottom. 
Inhale, take a back bend of choice. It can be cobra, it can be sphinx, it can even be upward facing dog. And exhale into either child pose or downward facing dog. Pause. Inhale, the right leg lunges forward, dropping the left knee down. Arms can stay down or sweep up. And exhale, taking the feet back to the top of the mat, dangling the body, pause. Inhale to lift the arms up, take a nice back bend. Exhale the hands to the heart center, pause. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale to fold, pause. Inhale, left leg lunges back, arms can come up. And exhale, coming all the way down onto the belly. Pause. Inhale, take your back bend. Exhale, into down dog or child pose. Pause. Inhale, the left leg lunges forward. And exhale, standing forward fold. Pause. Inhale to lift the arms up, take our back bend. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Pause. We're now going to take out the pauses and run through the sequence fluidly, only pausing when we get to the end. So it might feel a bit quicker, but there will be those natural pauses in between anyway. Inhale, arms up, back bend. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right leg lunges back, arms up. Exhale, onto the belly. Inhale, take your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog or child pose. Inhale, right leg lunges forward. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, lift up to your back bend. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale to fold. Left leg lunges back, inhale. Exhale onto the belly. Inhale, take your back bend. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lunges forward. Exhale, standing forward fold. Inhale, lift the arms up, back bend. Exhale, hands to the heart center. Take a moment to pause here. Notice the difference in the pace just from taking out the pause. We're now gonna add a pause in, which is technically our box breathing, which we'll come to a little bit later. Box breathing is inhale, pause, exhale, pause. And we're gonna do this with movement. So when we move, we breathe. When we pause, we stop. Inhale, lift the arms up, pause at the top. Exhale to fold forward, pause at the bottom. Inhale, low lunge, pause at the top. Exhale, onto the belly, pause at the bottom. Inhale to your back bend, pause at the top. Exhale, child pose or down dog, pause at the bottom. Inhale, right leg lunges forward, pause at the top. Exhale, standing forward fold, pause at the bottom. Inhale, lift the arms up, back bend, pause at the top. Exhale, hands to the heart center, pause at the bottom. Inhale, take the back bend, pause at the top. Exhale, standing forward fold, pause at the bottom. Inhale, left leg lunges back, pause at the top. Exhale, onto the belly, pause at the bottom. Inhale to your back bend, pause at the top. Exhale, down dog or child pose, pause at the bottom. Inhale, left leg lunges forward, pause at the top. Exhale, standing forward fold, pause at the bottom. Inhale, lift the arms up, pause at the top. 
Exhale, hands to the heart center, pause at the bottom. And then we're gonna come back to either lying down or you can come back to seated. If we're lying down, we might want to come to constructive rest pose where our feet are grounded, just to allow length through the spine. We're taking this moment to pause. If you're seated, you may want to sit on a chair or against a wall. Again, trying to maintain that lovely space so that the phrenic nerve is more effective around the diaphragm. So generally speaking, cervical C2-3 in line with the diaphragm. I'm gonna allow our box breathing to come into play here, just the breath. And it's really nice to visualize the box as you're breathing. You might also look at something in the space that is square and you can follow that if your eyes are open. You can even draw it with your hand as you breathe, either in the sky or on the floor, depending if you're sitting or if you're lying down. So we're gonna do three, three, and three, and three again. I'm just gonna go with fours, right? Three, 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 three. And then you'll have the freedom to go again on your own. So allow the natural breath to come in. I'm gonna go inhale for three, two, one. Pause for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Pause for three, two, one. One, inhale for three, two, one. Pause for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Pause for three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. Pause for three, two, one. Exhale for three, two, one. Pause for three, two, one. Inhale for three, two, one. One, pause for three, two, one, exhale for three, two, one, pause for three, two, one, inhale for three, two, one, pause for three, two, one, exhale for three, two, one, pause for three, two, one. Continue on your own for a few rounds, knowing that you can play with the numbers if you want to. When you get to the end of your next exhalation, notice how you feel. Box breathing can be a little bit more uplifting because we're pausing at the top of the inhale, so increasing the sympathetic drive a little bit. We're balancing that out with the pause at the bottom of the exhale, so it can have a balancing effect. However, if this isn't how you felt, you might prefer to stick to triangular breath for now as well but we're going to play a little bit with the box breathing with our movement again so we'll come all the way up onto the hands and the knees and then make our way into a little child pose position if this is okay for your knees elongating the spine it's our moment just to come to a tiny bit of rest and we pause here and we breathe On the next inhalation, we're going to come up onto the hands and the knees. And then exhale again, just wiggle around a little bit. Inhale, right leg's going to lunge forward. The arms are going to come up and we're pausing at the top. Exhale, fold over the top leg, straightening if you'd like, and pause at the bottom. Inhale, 
Coming into a high lunge, so tuck the back toes, lift the knee, lift the arms up high, and we pause at the top. Exhale, we'll open to a warrior two, and we'll pause at the bottom. Inhale, coming into triangle pose, straightening into the front leg, left arm goes up, pause at the top. Exhale, we're coming into pyramid pose. We have to hop that back foot a little bit closer in, squaring off the hips, folding over the front right leg, pause at the bottom. It's a bit of a tricky transition. Inhale, step into plank, we pause at the top. And exhale into downward facing dog or child pose, pause at the bottom. Inhale, come into a back bend of choice. You can just come into a tuck toe upward facing dog or a cobra or a, a sphinx position. We pause here at the top. Exhale into our child pose and pause at the bottom. Take a moment here to relax and come back to natural breathing. We'll go again on the other side. Inhale to the hands and knees and exhale, just wiggle it out. Inhale, left leg lunges forward, reach the arms up, we pause at the top. Exhale, folding over the front leg, pause at the bottom. Inhale to our high lunge, pick up the back right knee, we pause at the top. Exhale to warrior two, pause at the bottom. Inhale to triangle pose, pause at the top. Exhale to pyramid pose, pop that back foot a bit closer and pause to the bottom. Inhale to plank, pause at the top. Exhale, downward facing dog or child pose, pause at the bottom. Inhale to your back bend, pause at the top. Exhale to child pose, pause at the bottom. And take a moment here. Let your body come back to natural breathing. Just notice what it feels like to encourage softness, slowing things down, adding in some space. And it's noticing if you're somebody who really dislikes the pauses, who wants to rush through, if you really love the pauses and almost want more, or if you're that Goldilocks and you're like, no, it's just right. One isn't better than the other, but we're just paying attention to how we are affected by movement and fluidity. Some days we might want more pauses, less pauses, but we won't know until we start to slow things down where the space is required and how long it's required for and whether it does or doesn't serve us. Okay, we're going to come all the way onto the back, lying on the ground back into constructive rest pose. Let the arms go out as wide as they want to go and we'll allow ourselves to drop into the mat here. You don't have to close the eyes, you can keep them open if that feels better. And we're going to take a few moments to rest. What does that rest look like for you? What does that space feel like? Do we try to fill in the space with movement or thinking or feeling? Are we able to be more present with what's going on for us right now? Can we feel the tingles in the body? If we're looking in the room, are we noticing just the gentle light or the outside or 
objects in the room we like to catch our eye. Here, if you would like to, we can start to lengthen the legs away. The arms can go where they feel the most comfortable. We're going to take a few moments to sink into the body and to ground. Coming back to our pause. And we're going to cultivate our own safe space by drawing a triangle around the body. This triangle is going to draw across the bottom, up to the top of the head and back down. And you can make the triangle as close to the body as you'd like or as far away. You can draw a triangle in your mind that is a colour or a texture. It can either be something like paint or a light. If it wants to be golden or white or black or any colour that feels appropriate for you now, you can allow it to be a colour. And once you've drawn that triangle and created that space, That space is yours to feel safe, warm or cool, to rest, to be still. And you may need to keep coming back to visually drawing that triangle. to redefine the lines, creating yourself a healthy boundary from yourself and the world around you. For just a few moments so we can have that time to pause. To not need to be anywhere else other than here. And I will give you a few minutes to be here in your created space within your triangle.
very slowly, we start to become aware of that space within our triangle again. We begin to open up the boundary lines of the triangle, little by little, allowing the external world back in. Maybe noticing sounds beyond that triangular shape. Maybe starting to move the body and breaking the boundaries of your triangle potentially. Maybe even opening the eyes, looking around your space. You might need a bit of a stretch, a yawn, a sigh. We may collect the legs in, wrapping the arms around, hugging yourself into a little ball. Maybe rocking a bit from left to right. And we'll drop onto one side and into a little fetal position momentarily. And gently make our way up to a comfortable seated position. Before we close off our practice today, we're going to practice Durga breath. Durga breath is a three part inhalation and a one part exhalation. My favorite way to practice this is to use the energy between the hands to feel that space between. So we'll take three sips and every time we sip, we can expand the space between the hands. And as we exhale, we gently push that space back together and you will feel a bit of resistance between the hands. Try and stay connected so we don't wanna to go too big too quickly, but we can move this space and energy around depending on what we feel. You don't have to use the hands. If you prefer to do this without, that's also fine. I'm gonna guide you with the hands. Um, you can keep your eyes open or keep your eyes closed. And again, I will guide you through a few rounds and then let you go free flow. So feel that space between the hands if you're working with that energy. The fingers are not gonna to touch, they're gonna to be separated. And just feel that kind of resistance between the hands. Take some normal, normal breathing rhythms and just feel the expansion and contraction or retraction and just get a sense of the space between the hands. Okay, then we'll take three sips. So inhale, sip, 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 exhale, slow, long exhalation. Push the energy back towards the center. And again, sip, 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 exhale, long, slow exhale. Sip, 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 exhale. Sip, 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 exhale. If three sips feels too many, you can reduce it to two. Sip, 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 exhale. And then just continue this on your own. Couple more breaths. Mm -hmm. 
The next exhalation, see if you can start to push the palms towards each other, slowly. Notice as the fingertips touch what happens. Maybe the palms begin to connect together and notice the feeling going up both arms as it connect to the heart. Can you feel that circular motion of energy from the heart to the hands, from the hands to the heart? Can you feel the electricity moving the energy that you've played with and you created. We'll bring the hands towards the heart center. Softly bow the head forward. Thanking yourself for your practice, for taking the time to create the space that was needed. Namaste.